Welcome to our Bellroy Melbourne Backpack Review. During this review, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about the Melbourne. I'm gonna talk about the pros and the cons. I'm gonna pack it out, show you what fits. I'm gonna talk about the comfort. And then if you stay tuned until the end, I'm even gonna give a few alternative recommendations just in case you want something a little different. So let's start with the gist of the Bellroy Melbourne Backpack. This is some classy sh right here. A super minimalist, but super sleek, businessy backpack that fits up to a 15 inch laptop, some mag snap fasteners, some quick access side pockets, and shocking sighting for Bellroy, we got a water bottle holder. This is an 18 liter backpack. And if you were wondering what it looks like on a five foot two girl, there you go. Comes in at 1.6 pounds. You've got three color options. It comes with Bellroy's three year warranty. And with all that being said, it's gonna cost you about 160 US dollars. And if you're like, dang, that is one nice looking backpack and you wanna make a purchase, we do ask that you use the link in the description below. It's just gonna give you the best price for this backpack, offer any discount codes that we've got going on. And it's always gonna help support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel, which is greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. So let's get into the front of the Bellroy Melbourne backpack. For the materials, we got some durable, water-resistant fabric. It's really nice to the touch. And honestly, like these materials, like I just don't feel classy enough to even wear this bag. This bag means business. And it's not just looks. This material should hold up pretty well if you get caught in a rainstorm or anything like that. I meant it. There are no front pockets. You do have a quick access side pocket, but that leads you to the main compartment. And we'll get to that in the middle. But for the front, basically you've got this magnetic lid that takes you right into the main compartment. You don't have any zippers or anything. This is the only protection you have. So it's a little controversial. Some people might not like that it's just magnets. Could be easier for someone to take your shit. These magnets aren't like super secure. It doesn't take a lot of force to open them, especially if the bag's packed out. It's on your back, you got your headphones in, you're not really paying attention. I guess it could be easier for someone to unlatch it pretty easily. But with that being said, I could play with this all day long. It feels so nice. And then you also got this little leather accent right here, which definitely adds to the classy look. It definitely is nice to the touch. And all in all, I, I kind of like the lid. Now let's get into the middle of the Bellroy Melbourne backpack. On one side, we've got the super, super rare sighting of a water bottle holder in a Bellroy backpack. And at first glance, I thought because it's not really expandable that I wasn't going to be able to fit a big water bottle in there, but I easily fit my 23 ounce water bottle in there. So I tried to step it up with the big boy and you could even fit the 33 in there. And I would say even with a clunkier water bottle on the side, it's still just got a nice aesthetic and it's still pretty slim. And then for the other side, we've got a little quick access pocket right here. It's a little deeper than it looks. I thought it was gonna be a small, so you could fit a couple things in there. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my AirPods, my chapstick, and then a portable charger. Just smaller things that I can keep out of the main compartment in case I need to find them quick. So now let's get into the main compartment. We're gonna lift open that magnetic latch. It is a little tight to the main compartment. It's not the tightest that I've ever seen. You've also got this side zipper that opens it and then you got way better access to the main compartment. On the back here, you got a laptop compartment and that's gonna fit up to a 15 inch laptop. It's got some nice padding, but for me personally, I would like way more. So I am gonna go in with my 13 inch Mac Pro with its case. We are gonna double wrap today and just slide that on in. Fits nicely. We've also got another sleeve for a tablet. I'm gonna put my iPad Air in there and that fits in just lovely. And then on the inside flap, we got this nice mesh pocket for just a little bit of organization. And since that's really the only pocket in here, I'm gonna go ahead and throw my wallet in there and my keys since there's no key leash. Close that on up. And then we still got a lot of room in the main compartment. So I'm gonna throw my jacket in there, a journal, some bulky headphones, and I'm gonna put an umbrella on the side, zip that up. And then when the latch is closed, you can still access the main compartment through this side access pocket and you can grab your umbrella quickly. You can grab your headphones quickly. Just makes it a little easier so you don't have to go in through the top and rummage around through there. And this is what the bag looks like packed out. Personally, I think it looks kind of the same as when it wasn't packed out. It's just still got that really nice shape to it. Really clean look. It's not bulky. It's not popping out. And I just really like the aesthetic of this bag. So now let's get into the back of the Bellroy Melbourne backpack. 
First up, we got the top handle. Bellroy doesn't normally pad their top handles. They just got that classic backpack handle. And yeah, it's just pretty basic. And then below that, we got the shoulder straps. We got this really soft material for the shoulder straps. You're still gonna have a little bit of ventilation with this, but definitely not as much as, let's say, the mesh material. But pros and cons, that mesh material does sometimes leave marks on your shoulder if you're wearing a tank top. And this, this doesn't leave marks. This is really smooth on the skin and just really comfortable. For padding, they're pretty padded. Not the most padding I've ever seen, but this is a smaller bag. You're not really packing it out with a bunch of bulky stuff. So for how light it is, I think that the padding's nice. And as you can see with the shoulder straps, we got a little contour going on. So it's gonna fit your body a little better. And that's just gonna add to the kind of sexiness, businessy sort of feel of this bag. It's gonna look really nice on, but because of the cuts, it's gonna take away a little bit of the comfort if you're carrying a heavier load. Below that, we got some metal hardware, just little things that take this bag to the next level. We got the adjustable straps and a little bit of dangle stoppers. And then the back panel, same material as the shoulder straps. It's really soft. We got these two nicely padded areas here. And then that center cutout is just gonna allow a little bit of ventilation. But let's see how comfortable she is. Put her on, tighten these straps up. I, just, I feel like I'm ready to go to a meeting, you know? It's like, watch out, here I come, back up. This thing is comfortable, it fits really nicely. And like I said, the material of those shoulder straps are not rubbing against my skin. And all in all, this bag is good looking and feels good too. Now let's get into the pros and the cons of the Bellroy Melbourne backpack. Pro number one is gonna be that water bottle holder. Pro number two is the light and comfortable feel. And pro number three, duh, it's gonna be that really nice look. Although I got some pros, I also got some cons. Con number one is gonna be lack of security with that top flap. Con number two is gonna be that limited access to the main compartment. And con number three is I wish there was a bit more padding for that laptop compartment. But if you see this and you're like, dang, that bag is fly. I want one, I wanna purchase one. We do ask that you use the link in the description below. It's just gonna offer the best price for this bag, give you any discount codes that we have going, and it's always gonna help support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel. But if you're like, ugh, what else? I wanna see some other options. I got some alternative recommendations for you. Alternative recommendation number one is gonna be the Bellroy Apex. This is gonna be for you if you love the Melbourne, but you wanna kick things up a notch. This is gonna be Bellroy's most premium bag. And to learn more about this pack, check the description below. Alternative recommendation number two is gonna be the Peak Design Everyday Tote Pack. This is gonna be for you if you want a bag with the same sort of design, but you want way more security. And to learn more about this pack, check the description below. And my third and final alternative is gonna be the Alpaca Elements Backpack. This is gonna be for you if you want a business backpack, but you're looking for something with a totally different look and you want more security for your tech gear. And to learn more about this pack, you can go ahead and watch this video right here. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment if there's any backpacks that you'd like for me to review. My name is Marissa, this is Nomads Nation. Until next time.